Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie and today's video, I'm gonna be showing my favorite lip colors for spring and summer. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm totally the type of girl that wore black lips in the dead of summer and hot pink lips in January, but these are just colors I tend to gravitate the more toward in the summer. I'll also be having lip swatches for all of the colors. So if you wanna see how the colors apply, the colors I recommend, and just a little bit about their formula, let's jump right into the video. I have to share is Todd Cranes by Kylie Jenner and Kris Jenner. This is Kylie's velvet formula and it came out with the Momager collection. Now I would be lying if I didn't tell you that I didn't buy that I bought this lipstick just for the name. The Todd Cranes episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians is infamous and if you don't think I prank called all of my friends saying Auntie Chris, it's me Todd Cranes. They blocked my number. Like I said this is Kylie's velvet formula. It does dry down, but not to a completely matte finish. So it's way more comfortable than her matte liquid lipsticks. But the trade-off is that it is not transfer proof. So you will get transfer and you do have to reapply throughout the day. But if you're someone that picks comfortable or like comfort over longevity, you'll love this formula. It's a beautiful peachy nude and this did come in a lip kit. So it does have the matching lip liner. I absolutely love this color. I feel like it's so perfect that I wear it to work, I can wear it out, I can wear it wherever, and it always looks good. It's such a beautiful peachy nude and the name just makes it that much better. So this color is Dreamy and it's by ColourPop in a collaboration with Kathleen Lights. This is Todd Crane's peachy, if Todd Crane's was peachy, this is the older rosy sister. I always get comments on this lip color whenever I wear it and it's so flattering for an everyday look. It's like a beautiful rosy nude and it is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Formula. The ColourPop Ultra Satin Formula is hands down my favorite ColourPop formula. It's actually quite comparable to the Velvet Formula that Todd Crane's is in from Kylie Jenner. It dries down, I think, a little bit more than the Kylie formula, but once again, it's not transfer resistant. So it's something you just have to touch up on the center of your lips throughout the night. But I find that considering it doesn't dry down completely matte, it is a really long lasting lip color. I absolutely love this color. I love this formula. It's the perfect spring lip when you can just do like a simple eye and throw it on. And I really feel like it looks good on my complexion as well. ColourPop lipsticks are only like $7, so they're super affordable, and you are getting a great formula. The only issue is that the ColourPop lipsticks tend to go bad quite quickly, so I wouldn't suggest hauling a bunch of colors if you have no intention of using them. Ofra's lip color in Atlantic City, and this is one of Ofra's long-lasting lip liquid lipsticks. I have quite a few red lipsticks in my collection, but I think this is one of my favorites. It's coming up way more bright on camera than it is in person. It's more of a true blue based red, but I love this color. It's bright, but not too bright, and it's a blue that makes your teeth look extra white. My favorite thing about Ofra is their formula. They do dry down, can be completely matte, they're not uncomfortable. They're also, for a long-lasting liquid lipstick, not the most long-lasting, but once again, you're getting that comfort over the longevity. I love this color, and it's my favorite over color. The formula has such a pleasant smell. It's like vanilla, it's sweet, but it's not too overbearing, and that could be off-putting. I love this color. It takes a little while to dry down, but it's so pretty in the summer, and especially with this look with like a winged eyeliner, a simple bronze from the crease, minimal foundation, it's my go-to look and I actually think I might wear this lip color out today with this outfit because I am feeling this look. 
Once again, if you don't know anything about Ofra, they're affiliated with a lot of influencers, so you can get most of their liquid lipsticks for 30% off, and they do have sales. I actually bought this liquid lipstick off Hot Look, which is Nordstrom Rack's flash sale site. So if you haven't heard of Hot Look, every, I think three days, every day they post a new brand. So if there's something you're looking for, it's like 50 to 60% off. And Ofra is now sold at Ulta, so you can use your points and your coupons if you want to try one of these lip liquid lipsticks. So this is a Sephora cream lip stain in the shade number 38, which is like a beautiful raspberry purple. I love the Sephora cream lip stains. If you've seen other my, my videos, you probably already know that because I talk about them so often. They're just so comfortable. They dry down to a completely matte transfer proof finish and they last for hours on end, but they're never too dry, flaky, or uncomfortable. I've worn Sephora liquid lipsticks for hours, at concerts, at weddings, at like long work events, and I find they always look flattering. And my favorite thing about them is that you can reapply a second layer and it doesn't pill up on itself. That's an issue that I have with some longer lasting liquid lipsticks that I wanna just freshen up with another layer and it looks like your lips are peeling off, but not with this formula. These also only retail for $14 each, With within Sephora is like one of the cheapest liquid lipsticks you'll find. I love the Sephora cream lip scenes. And even if this color isn't for you, I highly recommend checking them out because I stand by their formula 100%. <laughs> Last but not least is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Spicy. If this lip color does not scream summer to you, I don't know it will. It's my favorite bold lip, I think, in my collection. It's like this hot orange. I think I actually think it's coming up really vividly on camera. It has hot red orange and it is a statement piece. I love it in the summer with minimal makeup and just throwing this lip on. It's such a cool piece and I always get compliments on it. If you don't like drying liquid lipsticks, avoid the Anastasia formula because it is pretty drying. But I'm willing to put up with a little bit of discomfort because I am crazy over the summer. This color, it's actually the lip color that I look most forward to wearing in the summer. It's such a bold statement piece, but because it's a yellow, like a red orange, your teeth do look yellow in it. So if you're self-conscious about that, something to make note of. I find the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks don't hold up particularly well if you eat. But if you're just talking and like drinking, they're fine, but just another thing to make note of. Like I mentioned with Sephora liquid lipsticks, how you can put on a second layer and it's flawless. Not with this guy. I wore a second layer one time because I wore this to a concert and my lips were not looking good. But this color is just so beautiful. I will put up with the formula because I am obsessed with the way spicy looks. So those are five liquid lipsticks that I recommend for the summer. We have different shades from velvets and satin lips to matte and even matter lips. I love bright summer lip colors. I love it as a pop of color and just a bold statement every day. What's your favorite liquid lipstick or lipstick color for the summer? I'd love if you let me know. If you like this video and want to see more liquid lipstick or lip swatch videos, I'd love if you let me know because I'm always excited to film videos that you guys want to see. If you also like this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I post new videos every week and I hope to see you back then. Thanks for watching.